Okay, so 116 in the red book. I'll let. Um, so now we have a new rhythmic figure here. We have a dotted quarter eighth figure. So when you count that, it's one and. So it's two full counts of the measure. So one, two, and. The and is the eighth note. And the quarter note is just one eighth note added on to a quarter note duration. So it's slightly longer. Just feel the pulse. Feel the ands. Feel, feel, feel the subdivisions. So one and two and three. And it's all slurred, so make sure you're slurring. Um, it's piano in the beginning. There is one part where it is forte. Don't punch it. There's some accents. Don't overdo it. Um, there is also a DC alfine. So again, you play to the end of the lines and then you go back to beginning and play until you see fine. So let's play, see how it sounds. <laughs> Let's do that one more time. Let's do it one more time. that one. Now let's go on to number 127. Now this one's interesting. We all know this melody. It's Twinkle Twinkle Little Stars. Variation on a theme by Mozart. So the theme or melody is very simple. It's all quarter note and some half notes. So nothing crazy. But when we get to variation one, it goes into three, four. So again, do not count it like as if it's four, four, because you will be confused. It will not line up correctly. So you want to count one, two, three, one, two, three. And it's the same notes, so nothing changed, just the rhythm, just the time signature. And then variation two, we have some eighth notes. We have some dotted quarter notes. So be mindful of how those happen and keep the subdivision in mind while you play. And then variation three is where it gets a little tricky because now we have a whole melody change. We have the first measure very simple and then when we get to the second and third measure we have some skipping around with the notes, some slurs in there. It gets a little confusing and as I like to call it you can be slide tied, like tongue tied, but with your slide. And um, yeah, just take it real slow at first and get the notes out. Just, you know, work on those little parts and then go back and play the whole thing and you'll see how it still sounds like the original theme or melody. And you'll understand what's going on a little better slowing it down. So let's play and see what it sounds like. Also, it's mezzo piano, so don't play too loud. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
that. And now let's do 133. So this one, 3, 4, there's a pickup note. It starts out forte. And then at the end of measure 4, it was mezzo forte, so you get a little bit quieter. And then at the end of measure 8, it's piano, so you going to be real quiet. And then when we get to measure 12, there's a crescendo. And it goes into forte. Now you don't want to immediately go forte. You don't want to be too loud, too fast. You want to gradually work your way up to that volume. Also, there are accents. Don't punch, just a little bit of weight. There's slurs, so make sure you're using proper articulation for that. And it is allegro, so maybe slow it down before you go and play it to make sure that you can play it and work up your tempo. So let's hear it. <laughs> scale. And that's it. 